Hi, it's Robert from Motor Grip. Now today, we're gonna to fit a set of one of our sheep skins to this 2010 RAV4, and it's the Rubber Gum 20 millimeters in a charcoal color. Now the way they come is the base and the back part come as a one piece, and the headrest is separate. Now, it doesn't matter what side you put them on, there's no left and right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unclip and remove the headrests in preparation to put on the headrest piece. So get it ready by having the sheep skin on the front and the synthetic fur on the back, and then get ready to start stretching it over the top of the headrest. So once it's on, Velcro it off for a nice fit. And these fit really, really well, considering they're not a custom tailor made, they are just a universal fitting um, set for most common seats. When you get them, they're all clipped up, so before you go to install them, make sure all the clips are undone, undone and that'll make it easy to get on. This is how it should sit. So what I will do first is get the back section and start feeding it over, just like you would a sock. Nice. Now you take the female connectors on the front at the base and push it through to the back of the seat. Pull these two out from the top and then feed them down the back of the seat and they will meet up at the one, with the ones in the middle to tie it off nice and neatly. So pull them through, all the way down. There we go. Right, so see them poking out the bottom there? Get the clips to meet up at the back, clip them off, pull them tight, and then you can hide them behind the cover, the carpet cover of the back of the seat. Neat. Now we'll fix the ties for the bottom base part. So you've got two that come down from the front, and then you've got two, another two that you push through to the back. And then they'll go under and meet up. Next, we'll put the base part on, slip that over. It's already starting to look good. Now, as the clip needs to go under the seat and underneath to tie it off, don't just pull this down over the shroud. You need to pull the plastic back and it takes a little bit of force and poke the clip through. So it comes out all the way to the bottom. And you can also tuck in that into there as well. So once you've fed the strap through, it should pop out at the bottom. And then you've got that's ready to go underneath and clip and meet to the one on the other side. So now we're behind the seat, which is maybe a little bit easier way to get the one that's on the, on the inside of the seat from under through. So that way you got the clip from the left hand side, the clip from the right hand side are ready to meet up in the middle. Get the clips to meet in the middle at the underside of the seat. And once you've clipped it together, you should be able to pull it tight. Beautiful. So we pulled through the one from the front. We got the one that's come through the back part of the seat, clip them together, and then again, tie it off nice and tight. And that one should be hidden underneath the seat. Remember to pop the covers underneath the clips where your headrests go. So after a little bit of hard work, and I won't say it's simple, it is a little bit tricky to get all the clips together, you're ready to put the headrest back on and that's pretty much the last step. Lovely.